Hello, hello, fam. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Insta because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to all my oldies, my goodies. You guys, Dr. Jar. Have you guys heard of Dr. Jar? I've used Dr. Jar maybe once. It was here. Let me find it. I use the tiger grass cream. I had gotten a sample from Sephora and I absolutely loved it. But I didn't purchase it because it was expensive. <laughs> so if you're not familiar, Dr. Jarp Plus, I think that's the name. I know it as Dr. Jarp is a skincare brand at Sephora and they just recently released their BB Premium Beauty Balm. It's a tinted moisturizer with SPF 40. Pausing really quick, I forgot to mention I did all my skincare and I added my SPF. I always add SPF even though a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream has SPF just for the extra protection. So you guys know we try everything out over here and I wanted to try it out for you guys. We're gonna do a one day wear test, see how it works out on oily skin because you guys no and i do have like some discoloration that i like to even out so this is definitely not going to be a full coverage or anything but let's start off priming the face a little bit i'm going to only prime the right side of the face this side with the piercings so i don't forget because you know i forget everything not everything but at the end of the day i'm like wait what happened today so let's prime this up a little bit okay so with primer you always want to let it sit for like maybe a minute or two so it can absorb into the skin nicely so I'm back all right now that we are nice and mattified and blurred a little bit let's go in with this so this bottle is pretty big look it looks like a full-on sunscreen bottle let's see oh it has a pump okay I have the shade medium tan right no yeah Okay, it looks like this. And what I'm gonna do is apply it with my hand and then give you all the info about this and let's see what we get. The new Dr. Jar Premium BB Tinted Moisturizer with Niacinamide and SPF 40 retails for $44. I have the shade Medium Tan. It comes in four shades. This is a multitasking niacinamide powered cream with a natural looking finish that hydrates, conceals, and protects. The coverage is light, the finish is natural. The highlighted ingredients is glycerine that rapidly moisturizes, mineral and chemical sunscreen that deliver UV protection, niacinamide that supports skin barrier, strengthens, and protects against environmental stressors. I purchased mine at Sephora. This comes in a 1.35 ounce bottle. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's pause. Wow, this is beautiful. You see the pigment? <gasps> wow, look. Just how hydrating and pigmented it is. And a little smoothing. Like it is before and after. Oh, wow. It's very lightweight, but it has umph to it. Like, look, you see that pigment? Oh, okay. Let's redo. Okay, wow. I am pretty present presently pleasantly surprised this is truly a tinted moisturizer it literally feels like a moisturizer on your skin you see just that lightweight coverage wow and it's pigmented that's what's like tripping me out oh okay okay let me also show you this is the prime side and then this is the no primer i don't know i feel like you see a slight difference you see how this is not as radiant versus here but wow okay pleasantly surprised all right so it is 6 30 in the a.m it is early and what i'm gonna do is wait around and see how this tinted moisturizer kind of dries down on the skin i usually wait 10 to 20 minutes if i have time so i have time today so i'll be back all right fam i it's been i don't know oh like 15 minutes let's see oh it's kind of dry <laughs> like do we have to set Look at the glow on the skin and it's dried down. So that niacinamide is really coming through. Damn, this is like really good. I don't think we have to set too much today. But dang. Damn, I'm surprised. And it's funny because it just released. I saw it on Trend Mood. It just released on Sephora and it already has like a hundred positive reviews 
with Sephora reviews, they're kind of a hit or miss. For the most part, I find that the ones that have quick reviews up that are positive are usually positive. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just shocked. This thing is like straight dry down. Let me just put some concealer and I'll be back. Okay, just set the under eyes and lids. Let's get a little bit of setting powder, some Derma Blend. Derma Blend, I find that it's the most natural powder I have. It's not matte, but it's not luminous. So it's perfect for like the lightweight days, but it also blurs so well. So we're just gonna tap this down very lightly because it's a light makeup day. It's a tinted moisturizer type of day. And you guys, I was thinking, I just applied it with my hands. I don't even have a sponge here. And you, the, the fingers are just the best tool sometimes. Everything's just going by so fast. <laughs> we love that, you know? Okay, let's just see. How does it feel? It's like it attaches to the skin. That's what I really love. Whether you have primer on or you don't. But look at the skin. Is this a patch? What is this over here? Oh no, I'm just gonna blend it out. But doesn't it just look like nice? A little bit of color, super lightweight. Like it feels like nothing's on the skin. So damn, okay, okay, okay. So let me just finish up the face. I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of bronzer, very light today. Bronzer blush, that's it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Fam, I'm totally surprised how good the skin looks. It performed exactly how I feel a tinted moisturizer should perform. It should be pigmented. It should apply very nicely with the hands. I just feel like with the hands is just the way to go. Cause look at the skin. I don't think you need to set it, especially, oh my God, I just spit, hold on. I'm too excited, ooh. Especially if you have drier skin, if you just let it sit on your skin for like even 10 minutes while you do your eyebrows or your mascara or put a little bit of cream blush, I think this would just stand on its own. Hold on, I got a lot going on today. This bun's like all lopsided, okay. I like this, this looks really good. My eyeliner, these wings are about to fly away. I don't know how it got so thick so quick, but you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Okay, but look at this skin. Very natural. You see how like the skin, you can see right through it. And this glow that this tinted moisturizer has, I'm really feeling because it just makes your skin look very healthy, very your skin with a little bit of tint, more like a good amount of tint. So wow, but let's see, you guys know we have oily skin. We're not trying to look gastadas today. It's gonna be hot. We're gonna do an all day wear test, 12 hour wear test to see how this mug looks at the end of the day. But I like it. And also the blush and bronzer went on very nicely. Again, very lightly. I didn't wanna put too much. It's just gonna be a chill day. The only thing that's doing too much is this eyeliner right here, but you know, we're gonna disregard. <laughs> okay, so let's go in front of the window so you can see how things look and I'll see you later, bye. All right, you guys, this skin, it's been about an hour because I started doing laundry, but look at this skin. Just that radiance, that natural radiance we have going on. I really hope it just lasts all day. Here, should we get in different lighting here? Oh, right here, right here. You see, like, I don't know, something about the skin just looks so natural, radiant, soft, and it's stuck. Like, it feels like it's not gonna move, but who knows? Fingers crossed it doesn't. Okay, ciao. Hello, familia. Oh my gosh, I'm back. It is 6.30. We've had this Dr. Jart BB Premium Beauty Balm Tinted Moisturizer for 12 hours. I did take some footage about two hours ago to show you guys how the skin was looking. Skin was looking really good. I feel like the side with all primer looks a little bit better. This hugs the natural skin so much better. Not that the primer side is bad, but I don't see it much different right now, you know, after 12 hours. So you guys, 
this is a good one i really really like it i love how it hugged your skin how glowy you look all day like i don't look gastada i am a little bit oily because i do have oily skin and it's been 12 hours and it's been hot and i've been running around like a bat out of hell today gastada where look at this skin kind of like we started off we look like we started off just i do see like here's just a little oily but you know that happens i got oily bug you know so this is a yes it is a little on the pricier side but dr jart skincare at least the one product i've tried i loved it so much that moisturizer was so good and it's big and it works well when you rub it in with your hands it works well without primer girl this is good also if you have dry skin to normal skin i would not set it just because it really hugs the skin so well i don't think you need to set it i'm gonna try it without setting it and see how it goes because i think it's that good where it just stays put and girl like the skin i just love it oh my god this would be so great for the winter months the skin tends to get drier and this would just throw that hydration back in oh but yeah this is it fam please let me know your thoughts on dr jart have you seen it around have you seen it at sephora which is where i bought mine and yeah i love you guys so much thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right there and i'll see you in the next one bye